quite a few things here in the studio, and it's actually very hot and very humid this morning. I'm Randall Arvilla. I'm a visual artist, I'm Costa Rican Australian, and I'm currently working on a series of works that have to do with the land. The colors of Costa Rica in relationship to the colors of Australia as well. And I'm working on a series of encaustics on board. In this particular case, they're just tondos, round shapes. Encaustic painting is, to me, it's like being an alchemist um, in the 21st century. So it's a mixture of three things, basically. Uh, the mark crystals, which you have to grind, and then you use natural pigments and the beeswax as well. You use heat, you use a flame, or you use a heat gun. Encausticos actually is a Greek word which means uh, burning in. And it seems to be that the Egyptians were the ones who first utilized uh, encaustic uh, painting in different forms. So we're talking about a technique that is more than 3,000 years old. So a lot of issues that are being talked about right now here in Australia in the 21st century, there are issues that we have been speaking about in Costa Rica for hundreds of years already. In the Spaniards uh, came, um, and what we, what we call them the conquistadores actually came, the conquerors actually came into Latin America. With this project that I'm working on right now, I wanted to create a word that was the opposite of terra nullius, which basically means that nobody was living there even though there, there were people living here. And I wanted to create a word that is also in Latin, and that's when I thought of terra habitatur, which means inhabited land. Uh, and so basically recognizing that there were, there were people who were already there, who had had incredible civilizations already before the Spaniards came.